Hello, everybody. Welcome to Clearfly Portal Training. My name is Tina Mann, and I will be your host today. In today's training, we will be covering the basic overview of the portal. This will be a quick 15, 20 minutes training uh, where you will be able to familiarize yourself to many basic but very useful portal features, uh, which will come helpful in your daily use. So um, for your convenience, I have divided uh, today's training into four different sections. Uh, the first section, which would be the top menu bar where we would include uh, uh, the home button, the search bar, the profile button. Uh, the second section would be the left menu bar, which would include the recent links, recent views, service verification, stuff like that. Third section would be the middle section or the dashboard section where we'll cover different dashboards uh, and how you have the access to it. And then the fourth is the essential links that I'm gonna cover in this training. And um, so let's get started. And just to let you know, today's training, I will be using the demo portal to show you or walk you through um, what um, you guys see. So this is a very similar portal to what you guys see. So if this is your first time logging onto the portal, uh, you should have received an email from Clearfly with a, a, a temporary password, which you can put in here and uh, set up your new password. Uh, otherwise, usually username is usually your um, email address. So you would enter that and then the password that you have created. Um, but in case you have forgotten your password or you haven't, no worries, just come and click the forget button, enter your username, which would be your email and you can reset it. Um, I'm just gonna use my credentials and log in. So um, this is uh, what you would, uh, the portal view, and this might be different for all of you. It might look different depending on your permission levels uh, from, uh, uh, you know, that has been set by your account manager or your system administrator within your organization. So your screen might look different um, and um, you may be able to see the sales dashboard or the payout or the unified dashboard or the management dashboard or all of them. And if you think that you need more or less access, you could reach out to your account manager and they can help you with it. So I'm gonna start with my first section, which is the top section. And we will be starting from our left. The Clearfly logo, uh, I call it like a home button. So anytime during working in the portal, you feel lost or uh, you don't know where to go, you could just come and press here and you will see during this training, I will be using it. So it'll bring you back to your home page. Going to the right, the search bar. This is a great feature, especially for people who have multiple accounts. So say you're looking for a specific uh, account, you are trying to generate a quote, or you're trying to create a ticket or follow up a project. Uh, the search bar is incredibly helpful as you can search anything by entering just the name. For example, uh, widgets, is a customer here. So I could just put widgets and it will take me straight to the uh, SPN account number. You have the SPN number, you can put the SPN number. If you are in projects, you can do enter a project number. This is just a demo portal. So I have a project number and it will take me right to the project. So really, really helpful and very convenient. I use it all the time. The check mark, the check mark tells you the Clearfly status. So if you uh, click here, it will tell you if we have any incidents or we scheduled any maintenance or, you know, you can come here and see. And if there are any incidents, this checkmark sign will change to the exclamation sign. Um, but uh, for example, if a customer calls you and saying that they're having some issues, this would be the first place you would come to see if Clearfly is having any issues within uh, their network or something. So you would come here and check that. 
Um, and if not, that's when you would dig deeper into the customer's account and probably create a ticket. Uh, the second uh, is the question mark is for your feedback about this page only, not about your manager. Uh, we appreciate your feedback. If you have uh, any questions or you want to uh, leave a feedback account, uh, uh, regarding this page, please go ahead and we get notified and we'll take care of that. The profile logo is where uh, you would come and change your password after you have logged in with your temporary password uh, as change password uh, says, right? Email subscription. Once you click on the email subscription, uh, it will pu pull a bunch of emails uh, and you can subscribe to Clearfly. So a bunch of emails that you can subscribe. For example, like right now, the training session, if you want to be notified whenever Clearfly is scheduling uh, training sessions or these uh, uh, classes, then you can come and subscribe here and you will get notified. You will be sent email. Uh, same thing if you want implementation, if you're a project manager in your organization and you want to receive any type of implementation emails, then go ahead and subscribe to that. Uh, uh, Clearfly sales, if you are in sales and you want some, uh, you know, information, same thing with tech and maintenance and outage, if you want, go ahead and subscribe here. Just to let you know, by default, you are not subscribed automatically to these emails. So if you are interested in any of these, you have to come in here and subscribe. Okay. Um, next, edit profile. So. Uh, if you have want to add a picture and always say adding a picture to a face to a name is always appreciated anything that interests you, you can come and add a picture of your interest right here. Um, email in case you want to edit your email or change your email, you can do that here name misspelled or last name change would be done right here by coming to the edit profile and doing it right here. You have the option to add your title uh, and location if you would like. Um, time zone, uh, super important to set the time zone properly because anytime you are working at the, uh, in the portal or doing something in the portal, uh, be it creating a ticket or watching a project, anytime you're doing anything that has a time stand to it, then it will show as per your time zone. So setting it properly is super important. Same scenario with the phone number as phone numbers do get missed. And anytime, if you have a DID number or any number you wanna put that where you can be reached is highly appreciated. And I highly recommend that. Auto watch tickets. Uh, so if you're a project manager or a support personnel in your organization, and uh, you want to auto watch projects, go ahead and enable this and click yes. Uh, suspension notice, is, this is more for the administrative role, uh, where if you are a customer uh, receives a suspension notice, uh, you will get notified when they get it. So auto watch for quotes, if you are in sales and you want to see when our quote is created, you can come and click yes here. Um, Two-step authentication. Um, if your organization requires that, then you can come over here and manage it. By clicking here, you have multiple options. You can set up a SMS, which is the most common used. Uh, you know, we do have the authenticator app or, uh, you know, other things that you can enable to set that two-step authentication right here. Um, going back, um, again, um, this is all that we have on the top part. So I'm going to click, go to the second section of my training, which is the recent view. The recent views is, um, as it says, it is really what it says. Basically, where you have been within the portal most recently, it will give you all those links. Remember how I clicked widgets? It shows me if I have to go back to that SPN. If you've been creating a code, then you can go back and see if you want to create a code. Um, service verification. 
uh, is where uh, you can come in and check if Clearfly provides service in that particular location. So you could do a quick check by entering a zip code or a phone number. If, you, uh, if it comes up as green, then that means that Clearfly, it is a verified location and Clearfly is able to provide service there. But if it comes out as red and it will be a non-verified and we cannot provide service in those areas. It's very rarely that happens, but there are some rural areas where uh, clear, uh, you know, some uh, calculus that we, we can provide service and it'll tell you. So it's a really handy uh, thing to see. Uh, tickets, if you don't have the customer management um, permissions, you will not see this. But if you do, then you could just come in here and it will tell you all the tickets that have been opened within your uh, organization. So you could just view them right here. Um, okay, so that's the second section. The third section is the dashboards. Uh, the dashboards, again, depending on your permission level, you may see just the sales dashboard. Uh, or you must just see this unified or the management or the if you're in billings, you know, uh, or you might see the all. So the sales dashboard is mainly to build quotes. If you, uh, you know, are in sales, um, if you click here, it'll take you stay, uh, straight to your quote section. It'll give, take you to your third party where it'll give you your company's name, the manager's name and the payout account. And if you scroll down, it'll give you the quotes and then you are able to create your quotes here. Uh, second is the payout accounts. Um, if you have access to this, again, uh, which is based on your permission level, this will list all the payout accounts or the commission accounts. Uh, here you can see the previous and upcoming invoices and the amount of commission you are getting paid. So when you click here, it will show you all your payout accounts, okay? Um, next is the unified billing. Uh, this is where you can add your own line items or products to the Clearfly invoices. Um, and uh, Clearfly will invoice the customer and collect those payments. Uh, Clearfly is also responsible for the collection and the remittance of taxes. Uh, quite handy and convenient for you and your customer. And if you have the permission level for unified billing, you can come and see if there is any pending activation and are you, what your unified billing accounts are. So it will list all the accounts that you are doing unified billing with. So pretty handy. And uh, next would be the management dashboard or the support and provisioning dashboard where you can, um, it's really more of a project management or a technical side of the portal where the projects, orders and authorizations, you can view those like how many projects, if there are any orders um, and authorization basically gives you a list of people who have access to the portal uh, with their permission levels. So in case you want to add a user, this is where you would come and add a user and you know, it'll tell you who all are authorized within your organization. Um, and as the training events would be listed right here. If there are any upcoming training events, then you can come here and um, come and see it. As you guys know that Clearfly hosts training webinars to support and educate uh, our agents, uh, our partners. These cover basic to sales, to provisioning, to technical support. Uh, this will list all the upcoming training webinars that they are absolutely free and very informative. If you are interested or you want anybody within your organization to attend these webinars, you just come in here and click register and it will take you there. The fourth part is our uh, use. The section is our links. These are our useful, very useful links. So for example, uh, the first one is the resources. Um, this is like a, if you click here, you would see, this is like a Wikipedia, I should call, uh, you know, any information, this will answer so many of your questions that uh, you will be amazed that you can find answers to right here. Um, you know, like CFAX questions, if you have any, um, you know, what kind of uh, interrupts do we have? 
uh, questions like that, other uh, facts and questions, you can just come in here and it will uh, give you that. Knowledge base is another one, which is I highly recommend it will. This is a demo portal. So let me pull the real portal so you guys can see. Um, knowledge base is uh, will give you topics like, you know, what is the international calling here, available and unavailable forwards, uh, how to order specific DIDs. Uh, there are so many how uh, we do the call fraud detection works for us you know, uh, and how Clearfly handles like our privacy little things like how we handle account information, stuff like that. So uh, once you uh, get here, um, the next one is the documents. Documents in case you need our service schedule, the portal terms and conditions, taxes and fees, your customer asks for it, or if you need it, you can always come and oh, you know guide your customer here. You can download it and you have the review to it. Uh, next is the training. And again, this is uh, the same thing that you can come and view if there are any training sessions that we have and you can register to them. Um, and then tools, another important one that I wanna bring to your notice uh, it's basically gives you inventory search. So if you are looking for a specific number, you can just come in here, enter the number. You could do a basic search or an advanced search based on geographic filtering or, you know, what kind of numbers and it'll see if it's available or not. So super helpful. You can do this before you come. And if you find a number, you can just go in and order it as well. Um, status. This is pretty much similar what we saw on the top, but this is more detailed. So uh, if you come in here, uh, you could see if we have any issues with the Clearfly portal, it would be red and it'll tell you anything with messaging, data, hello sign, payment processor. And if we've had any past incident that it also tells you about those, okay? So in um, very informative. And then uh, the next would be the privacy. In case your customer needs it, it'll take you to a link where you can go and find our privacy um, community. Uh, well, my favorite, I really like it. It's like a bulletin board. This is a place where you can post recommendations, add suggestions, ask questions, make comments. Uh, because not only Clearfly sees this, but all the other agents who are registered on this. It's a great, uh, you can say it's like a great dealer uh, network where you can get suggestions and give suggestions, get recommendations from other dealers, uh, and which also helps us to make improvements, right, within Clearfly. So super helpful. Well, uh, this is all I was going to cover in this training, but before I leave, I do want to share uh, my Clearfly contacts. Um, again, um, Bob Jenkins, Sam Johnson, Rob Lewis are the account managers. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to any one of us, Tom Hall and Tina Mann, myself. <laughs> if you can re find your uh, channel managers, please feel free to reach out to me or Tom. Um, you, these are some useful emails like sales. If you have any general sales question, shoot an email to us at sales and clarify. We all get that email. Uh, you have any orders or project related questions, you can shoot an email to orders at clearfly and the girls are really prompt. They uh, uh, will answer you. If you need some technical support, support at clearfly.net, clearfly billing uh, questions, billing at clearfly.net, and of course the community. So I hope this was uh, helpful and um, you know informative for you guys. Um, thank you so much. This concludes my session, um, and you guys have a great day. Bye bye.